strategy. Okay, maybe kita nak ambil at this point. Kita tak nak the whole circle, kita nak at the, speci the specific time so that we can uh, derive what is the tangential velocity at that particular point. Okay, now kita dah dapat this equation. Okay, delta theta, d theta over dt is equal to 1 over r, ds over dt. Then, this equation kita tahu, we know that the changes in the angular displacement terhadap time, we will get the angular velocity, omega. And also the changes in displacement with respect to time, we will get the tangential velocity. So what is tangential velocity? As I said earlier, the, the velocity at the particular point or at a particular time, it is always tangent to the circle. So for example, at this time, at this point, the tangential velocity is always uh, tangent to this circle. So kalau I ambil at this point, the velocity will be always tangent to the circle. So this is the tangential velocity. And tangential velocity is one of the uh, linear punya quantities. So we can relate it. Okay, kita dah dapat this equation, right? Omega is equal to 1 over RVT. Then we just rewrite the equation. We rearrange the equation in terms of velocity, tangential velocity. Then we will get R omega. So this is the relationship between linear where the tangential velocity is linear quantities and the omega is angular quantities. And we just times with the radius, okay? This is the radius. Okay, how about the acceleration? Okay, <clears throat> if the object changes its angular velocity delta omega in the time interval delta t, so the velocity of a point has changed by the amount of delta tangential velocity. Maksudnya, from the equation kita dapat tadi where the tangential velocity is equal to r omega, and then if, if there is a slightly change of the omega, delta omega ni, then delta of vt pun akan berubah juga. They will change accordingly. And... Kita buat juga dividing by delta t ataupun at a specific time t, it, we divide by delta t, we will get delta vt over delta t for this part and then for the right part also, we divide by delta t. Then what happen is we know that the changes of the velocity with respect to time, kita akan dapat acceleration. Okay, kita akan dapat, okay, uh, if, we, if we divide by delta t is too small, the, the delta sign ni akan change kepada kita punya uh, differentiation punya sign. Okay, then kita tahulah uh, the changes in the velocity with respect to time adalah tangential uh, acceleration. And then the angular acceleration is the changes in the angular velocity with respect to time. So, kalau kita tengok dekat this circle, <coughs> The tangential velocity, uh, as I told earlier, is always tangent to the circle and also the acceleration, tangential acceleration is always uh, perpendicular to the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal means center, center seeking, jadi acceleration is always pointed to the center. So this is acceleration centripetal. But we haven't uh, we haven't learned more. Uh, we we haven't learned yet about the centripetal acceleration. We'll cover it in lecture three. So so far now you dah belajar omega, which is angular velocity, and then uh, kita ada uh, tangential velocity. Okay, and then we ada angular acceleration, and then we have. Uh, Sorry, we have a ten tangential acceleration. Okay, this one is linear. And also we have a centripetal acceleration. We don't have the centripetal velocity. Ni tak ada. Because of the velocity is always tangential to the circle. Acceleration we have. Then we got, kita akan belajar AC ni lah kemudian. So we, this one done, this one done, this one done, this one done. Only AC. Okay, so this is the uh, tangential acceleration. I put it is. I put it as AT, okay, and then the, the relation between the angular uh, angular quantities dengan linear quantities is this one, which just times with the radius. Okay, I think we, I will summarize this after this so that you boleh nampak lagi. Okay, this is the summarization, the relationship between angular and linear quantities. So I start with the basic one first, which is displacement. Okay. So, untuk displacement linear quantities, we use delta S displacement and the unit must be M lah. Okay. And then uh, angular quantities is delta theta. 
angular uh, angular displacement and the unit is red radian and the relationship is uh, the delta s is equal to r delta theta ataupun we just time with the radius and the unit is meter okay now we go to velocity okay velocity for linear quantities is the changes in displacement divided by time and the unit is meter per second but for angular velocity is the changes in angular displacement divided by time and the unit is radian per second and the relationship is the same also we just time with the r okay tangential velocity the the linear quantities darabkan dengan r r darabkan dengan the angular quantities which is angular velocity so the unit will be in meter per second and now for acceleration uh, we know the acceleration is the changes in time uh, velocity changes in time and also the same angular quantities for angular acceleration uh, the changes in omega and changes in angular velocity in term upper with respect to time and the unit is radian per second power of two and also the relationship sama juga we just darabkan the radius dengan angular quantity so kalau tengok you boleh nampak kat sini right uh, semua uh, semua angular quantities this is angular this is angular this is angular when you times with the radius you will get the linear uh, quantities and in a question kalau you dapat question uh, apa uh, the way untuk you tahu that the quantities is linear or is uh, angular so you just look at the uh, the unit itself. So, kalau radian per second, radian per second square, so that's all uh, in quantities, in, in angular quantities. And uh, for linear quantities, uh, dia ni lah dalam SI unit. Sekejap eh. Okay, now kita pergi questions. Okay, sebab so, uh, nanti nak bagi lebih faham. Mana pula kerja? Gila. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, so a tornado has a diameter of 50 meter and winds of 300 kilometer per hour. What is its angular velocity expressed in revolution per second? Okay, I'll open the response and then uh, you may start to answer. Okay, hanya tiga orang saja yang jawab. Okay. So, cuba-cuba jawab dulu. Jangan takut-takut. Salah pun tak apa. At least you learn something. <coughs> so, I think, I think this is not the answer lah. Okay, I think I'll stop the submission. Don't worry. Maybe I forgot to change. I forgot to change the answer. Okay, so I'll open my blackboard. Today I will use, I will use blackboard. Okay, yeah. Okay, so soalan dia tanya. Sekejap eh, saya cari soalan jap. Alright, so Alan dia tanya, a tornado has a diameter. Okay, a tornado has a diameter of 50.0 meter. Okay, then we know radius lah. So, radius is equal to 25 meter. Okay, and then the velocity is 300 kilometer per hour. Then this one we need to change to meter per second lah. The question asks for the... Uh, angular velocity but the unit must be in revolution per second okay so we change the velocity first into si unit then we will get 300 darabkan dengan 1000 and then we divided by one hour change to the second times 60 minute times 60 second and then you will get hmm, berapa can someone calculate for me 83.33 all right 83.33 meter per second thank you okay now this is the velocity so we want to find the angular velocity so we we know the relationship between the linear and uh, 
linear and the angular uh, quantity study, uh, V is equal to R omega. So the omega is equal to V over R. Jadi V that we get is 83.33 and then we divided by the radius which is 25 meter. Okay, and then the, velo the angular velocity is someone? 3.33. 3.33 radius radi, radian per second. Okay, this is in radian per second. Question asked for revolution per second. So we have to convert it 3.33 rad per one second. Okay, radian to radian to revolution. How to convert it? Divide two pi. Divide two pi or times two pi. Divide by two pi. Divide. Kalau times, mas, sebab kita tahu one revolution is equal to two pi radian. So one radian is equal to one over two pi. So that's why we need to divide by one over two one by divide by two pi. Okay. And then the second tak perlu sebab always uh, already in second. Jadi the answer is three point three three divide by two pi. 0 uh, 0.53. 0 0.53 revolution per second. Okay. So jawapan tadi tak ada, saya tak betulkan. Sorry. Okay, siapa yang dah download nanti you betulkan eh. The notes. Okay, so I think that's all for lecture one. I will proceed for the second lecture for today. Okay, before that ada, ada soalan. Sementara saya cari saya punya uh, slide. Okay, tak ada. Okay, good. So, I'll open the second lecture for physical 2. Physical 2 is here. Wait, eh? <clears throat> All right. Is my slide already up? Already, eh? Yeah. Okay, so uh, kita recall balik for our first lecture where we have to define angular displacement, angular velocity, acceleration and frequency and period. Okay, the first one, kinematics of rotational motion, angular displacement, the definition, equation and unit. So equation yang terlibat for angular displacement, where we know the angular displacement, the the, the label ataupun the punya tu adalah theta. Right? Jadi theta is equal to uh, S over with the radius. Okay, and then uh, equation yang inilah kita guna and the unit is, unit is uh, radian. Okay, and also delta theta, we know the delta theta is equal to theta final minus with theta initial. And sometimes, soalan ada juga bagi unit theta in revolution, okay, in rotation. So we know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radian. Okay, so that is angular displacement. Next, kita buat angular velocity di mana uh, you, you need to define lah what angular velocity is. Equation, unit, frequency and period, revolution per minute. So we know the angular velocity which is omega is equal to omega final minus with omega initial. Okay and then other than that uh, the relationship between omega and also uh, the linear the linear quantities is <coughs> V tangential is equal to R darabkan dengan omega and then frequency and period. Okay, other than this equation, kita boleh juga cari the omega from the frequency and period and we know that one full cycle, we call it period T. So T is equal to one over frequency and then the omega is equal to two pi times with the frequency. Okay, and then the revolution per minute also a, a unit for angular velocity di mana Evolution per minute ni, we need to convert it into radian per second. Okay, sometimes they bagi revolution per second, but you have to convert it into radian per second lah. It is a unit for angular velocity. Okay, next. Angular acceleration. 
the definition okay definition of angular acceleration is the changes in uh, angular acceleration is the changes of the uh, the omega with respect to the time and the equation related to the angular acceleration is r sorry to balik acceleration uh, tangential acceleration is equal to r times the angular acceleration and the unit is radian per second power of 2 okay and then next okay the angular and linear quantities the equation that relates uh, both of them lah so yang saya dah terangkan tadi untuk uh, displacement untuk velocity and untuk acceleration okay next soalan okay draw draw arrows that represent tangential velocity tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration VT, AC and AT. So I open the response. So you just uh, draw it by using your mouse. Should be fine. So tak, kalau tak lurus pun tak apa. Asalkan you tahu where is VT, where is AC and where is AT. I am still waiting. Okay, ada seorang satu. One handsome dari FL1 dah hantar. Handsome ke Wan? <laughs> Siap lukis lagi. Sebab seorang sahaja yang hantar, yang lain tak hantar. Okay, dua orang. Tiga orang. Okay, good. So let me show you. Daripada one handsome, FL1. Okay, uh, betul. Uh, VT is always uh, is always tangent to the circle, and then a tangential is always perpendicular to the AC. Okay, correct. Okay, next. Dari Firdaus, FP2, AC correct, AT is also correct, VT also correct. Okay, that one is just in different direction. No worries, benda yang sama. Okay, Adip, FP1, AT, AC, VT, yep, correct. So VT is always uh, perpendicular, uh, no, always tangent to the circle. I cannot. Okay, Hafiz FJ1, AT, AC, correct. VT is okay, correct. Tak masalah. Then next, Akmal Faris FM2, uh, VT is always perpendicular and AC is uh, pointing to the center and AT is perpendicular to the centripetal acceleration. Okay, nice. Okay, so you guys dah dapat maksudnya. So kalau saya ambil point di sini. Okay, point di sini. Alamak putih pula. I use straight. Okay, and then dia punya VT is always perpendicular to the circle. So this is VT. And then AC is always center, is always center seeking, pointing to the center, centripetal. And AT is 90 degree to the AC. So this is A tangential. Okay. So kita pergi next untuk lecture 2. Okay, dah masuk lecture 1 tadi. Uh, to, that, 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 that will be all untuk lecture 1 but you have to use all the ni lah. All the information given. Tak apa nanti kita buat soalan so you biasakan diri dengan soalan ni untuk lecture 1 and lecture 2. Okay, rotational motion under constant angular acceleration. We can compare the equation between rotational motion and also linear motion. Kinematics one yang you already found it in SPM and also in lecture 1. Okay, so uh, let me recall what are the big four kinematic linear, linear equation. Ada empat. The first one is V final is equal to V initial plus uh, AT. This is AT, yeah, bukan angular. So this is AT. And uh, from this equation, we know that there is no S. Okay, no S, no S involved. Okay, and then the second one. Delta S is equal to V final plus V initial divided by 2 and then times with the time. So this one we can see that there is no acceleration involved. Okay, and then for the third one, Delta S is equal to V initial T plus half A T power of 2. And this one is no V final. Okay, and the last one, the fourth one. V final power of 2 is equal to V initial power of 2, 2 AS. This is A, not angular. Eh? This is A, delta S, 
Okay, so this one there is no time involved. Okay, the same thing juga for our circular motion. Kita akan guna the same equation but we have to change the parameter involved. Okay, so rotational motion with constant angular acceleration. Under constant angular acceleration, we can describe Okay, we can describe the motion of an object using a set of kinematic equation. How? Okay, because the, because the kinematic equation are similar, are similar to the linear motion, so the rotational equation have the same mathematical form as the linear equation. We can use the one that in linear motion, but we have to change the parameter by using the rotational, by using the angular quantities. So, kalau kita tengok the, the next slide, Okay, I already summarize it into a table. So, if you think about the first one, V final, V final is equal to V initial plus with the AT, okay, AT, and then correspond to the rotational motion. The, init, the final velocity is equal to omega final, is equal to the V initial, kita akan correspond to the omega initial, and then for A, acceleration, we correspond to angular acceleration. The same goes to the delta S. V final plus V initial divided by 2, sama juga. Delta S akan correspond to our delta displacement, angular displacement. And omega final, omega initial correspond to the V final and V initial divided by 2 and times with the time. Okay, and then this one, we know lah, this one no S, no delta T, no theta, and this one, no angular acceleration. There's no angular acceleration. And then to S, uh, v, uh, v initial T times half A T power of 2. So delta S correspond to the delta theta. Uh, v I correspond to the omega I. And A correspond to the alpha. So this one, there is no omega final. Okay, and then the last one, V final power of 2 is equal to V initial power of 2. Okay, sama juga. This one is correspond to the omega final. VI correspond to the omega initial power of 2. And this is A. This uh, correct you punya ni eh, slide. This is A to A delta S. Uh, A is correspond to the angular acceleration. And also, S correspond to the angular displacement. Okay, so if you hafal this, if you memorize uh, this one, there is no T involved. So, bila tengok soalan, uh, mana yang paling suitable, you use uh, between uh, between this four. Okay, kita tengok soalan supaya you lebih faham. Alright, example one. A rotating plate in a microwave oven accelerates from rest to a uniform rate of 0 0.88 radian per second square for 5.5 second. So if the diameter of the plate is 30 cm, the, determine the number of revolution of the plate, tangential speed of the plate at each stream. Okay, I'll open the response so you may start to answer. You just write the value, it's okay, no problem. <clears throat> Okay, Akmal Faris dah jawab. Lecture 2. Okay, seorang je. Lagi. Five second left. <laughs> Seorang sahaja yang menjawab. Okay, dua orang. 0 0.77. Okay, so dua orang ni adalah Hazim dari FJ3 dan FM2 Akmal. 0 0.77 revolution per second. Okay, kita tengok soalan dia. Alright, soalan dia. A rotating plate in a microwave oven accelerate from rest at any point. Okay, let me open my blackboard. Okay, let me find the equation. With air. All right. So a rotating plate in a microwave oven accelerate from rest. Jadi kita tahu lah from rest. Kalau you nak cepat, you terus dia extract all the information given. So from rest, omega initial is equal to zero radian per second. 
Okay, and then uh, given that the acceleration uh, is 0 0.88, angular acceleration is 0 0.88 radian per second square. Okay, and then the time given is 5.5 second. And the diameter of the rotating plate is 30 cm. So we don't want diameter, we want radius. It is equal to 50 cm. And then it is equal to 0 0.15 meter. Okay, and then the question asked for A is number of revolution of the plate. So number of revolution. So this one correspond to what quantities or what uh, parameter? Revolution. Anyone? Displacement. Yep, correct. Displacement. Revolution is displacement. Jadi, we want displacement lah. So, we use uh, the, between all those four equations, kita guna yang the third one, di mana the third one is theta, is equal to omega initial, darabkan dengan time, and then plus the half alpha t square. Sebab dia tak ada v, uh, omega final, so we use this equation. And then we just sub in all the information given into this equation. Omega initial is equal to zero, Time is equal to 5.5 and then plus with the half. Angular acceleration is 0 0.88 and the time is 3.5 to the power of 2. Okay, uh, anyone can calculate for me? What is the theta? The... Malu-malu hmm? dia nak cakap. Ya. Yeah. Yang time tu 3.5 ke 5.5? 13.31. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. This is 5.5. Saja je. Takut you tidur. Okay, berapa tadi? 13? 13.31. 13.31 radian. Alright. So this is uh, the displacement but the unit is in radian. The soalan minta the revolution, right? So we have to change the radian to revolution. So how to convert radian to revolution? We know that one revolution. Yeah, we know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi. Jadi untuk convert it into revolution, 13.31 we divide by 2 pi. So what is the answer? Berapa? 2.12. 2.12. Yeah, 2.12 revolution. Okay, or this one is equal to 2 revolution. Okay, this one memang sangat tricky sebab uh, we, need to, we need to select, we need to run off to the minimum value, not to the maximum. Okay, for example lah, you calculate, eh, calculate and then you dapat 2.98 revolution. So this one is not equal to 3 revolution tau because it, it hasn't reached the third cycle. So the jawapan still 2 revolution. Okay, this one memang sangat berjaga-jaga dalam MCQ. So, then you calculate and then you dapat 2.98. A, jawapan dia adalah 2 revolution. B, jawapan dia adalah 3 revolution. You don't choose B. Jawapan dia adalah A. Even dia nak dekat dengan 3. Because it hasn't reached the third one. Okay, understand? But in assignment, no worries. Assignment, you can put 2.12 or 2 revolution. Uh, tapi MCQ ni, you kena uh, be careful lah about this. So it, it hasn't reached the third one, so it is still two revolution. Okay, B, so I'll end up, okay, wait, I open another whiteboard. Okay. So B, so I'll end uh, ask for the tangential speed of the plate. So B, tangential speed of the plate. <clears throat> we know that uh, tangential speed, tangential speed is V tangential. And this one mesti we relate dengan, we relate dengan R omega. So omega where? So this omega is correspond to the omega final, not the omega initial. Jadi we need to find the omega final. We use the, the first equation, omega final is equal to omega initial plus angular acceleration with time with the times. So omega final is equal to omega initial given is zero. And then angular acceleration is 0 0.8. 8 radian per second square and the time is 5.5. Okay, and then the angular velocity final is, can someone calculate for me? Okay. 
4.84 radian per second square. But this one is angular velocity. The question asks for the tangential. So how to find the tangential velocity? Times by radius. Yeah, times by radius. So the radius is 0. Uh, the radius is 0. 0.15 meter. We darab with the 4.84 and the tangential velocity is 0. 7.784 meter per second. 73, okay. Meter per second. Yeah, unit mesti dalam meter per second since this is a linear quantities. Okay, ada soalan? Any question from the floor? Tada. Okay, good. So we proceed for the next question. Example 2. The blades of blender rotate at a rate of 7500 revolution per minute. So when the motor is turned off during operation, the blade slow to rest in 3.0 second. Find the angular acceleration of the blade. Okay, this is the angular acceleration. I open the response. So you may start calculating and then just submit your answer. Okay, so Zaharan dah jawab, Alif Zarfan dari FL3 lagi. Masih lagi takut-takut nak jawab. Negative 4.36, okay, 24.43. Nanti kita tengok, where did you go wrong? Okay, so you learn from that. 24.43, 41.67, Nabil from FL2, 261.8. 261.83 dari FL2. Ada yang negatif, ada yang positif. Alright, so already close. So kita tengok uh, your friends punya answer. Okay. Ada yang 24, memang very saya tengok. So maybe ada kesilapan yang yang you benda kita tengok eh, dia punya solution. Nabil, negatif 261.8. Okay, jawapan yang Nabil tu betul. Kita tengok. Alright, so untuk uh, yang blender ni. Yeah. Okay, the blades of blender rotate at a rate of 75,000, 7500 RPM. Okay, what is 7500 ni? Apa maksud dia? What quantity is this? Revolution. Yeah, I know. This is revolution per minute. So what quantity is it? No, omega. this is not displacement. Yeah, this is omega. Kalau displacement is only revolution. Dia tak ada per minute kat sini. Uh, this one yang per minute, per second, this is all angular velocity. Okay, omega eh. Okay, this is omega initial. And because we know that omega final is zero because dia, dia bagi tahu kat situ, uh, uh, the motor is turned off during operation. So we know that the final one is zero. Zero rate per second lah. Okay, nanti kita nak tukar juga RPM to the radian per second. Jadi, uh, the blade slow to rest in time 3 second. Okay, so we have to convert RPM to the radian per second. Jadi how to convert 7500 per 1 minute. 7500 revolution. We need to times with the 2 pi. And this one kita kena darab dengan 60 second. Okay, so 7500 revolution darab 2 pi bahagi dengan 60 second berapa? Seven eight five. Point four red. Eh? Okay, this is radian per second. Okay, this is the uh, omega uh, initial velocity. Okay, now the question asks for the acceleration. So we know omega final, we know omega initial, we know time. So we use the first one where omega final is equal to more omega initial plus with the angular acceleration times with the time. So omega final is zero. Omega initial is the one that we just calculated 785.4. Okay, and then plus with the acceleration yang kita nak cari, darabkan dengan time is, time given is 3, 3 second. Then we rearrange our formula. We'll get uh, as angular acceleration is equal to negative 785.4 
divided by 3 seconds. So the answer is? 261.8. Yeah, 261.8. And unit is? Radian per Radian. second square. Per second square. Alright. So tadi seorang je yang betul which is Nabil. So yang salah tadi you need to tengok balik lah why you salah. Okay wait. Uh, need to padam this one. Okay. So this is the answer. Okay next. Soalan seterusnya. Kalau tak sempat saling let me know eh. Alright. So the first question, a gyroscope is accelerated from rest to 32 radian per second in 0 0.4 second using a string. So what is its angular acceleration in radian per second square and how many revolution does it go through in the process? So the gyroscope D is a device that uh, that measure the angular velocity, but this one was used a long time ago. Lah. But right now we don't use this anymore. OK, you may start to uh, answer this question. I'll give you two minutes untuk jawab. So you need to practice lah untuk jawab dengan cepat and tepat. Okay, I need Karina A only, B tak ada jawab eh, Hijam and I need. B tak jawab, it's okay, no problem, maybe you tak tahu. Ramai your A saja, B tak jawab. Never mind, maybe uh, tak tahu eh. It's okay, I will show the solution after this. see the answer. Where is it? I think I just close it. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. I already closed the previous answer. But no worries. Okay, ramai yang jawab A sahaja 80 radian per second square and the second one uh, ramai yang tak jawab. Okay, let us see the solution. Okay, whiteboard. I use blackboard. Okay, for the first uh, question which is a gyroscope eh. Uh, it's accelerated from rest. Jadi we know lah the initial velocity is equal to zero radian per second. Okay, and then uh, uh, from rest to 32 radian per second. This is the omega final lah. Omega final is 32 radian per second. Okay, and then uh, given the time is 0 0.4 second. And then what is the angular acceleration? A is the angular acceleration. So we can use the first one where omega final is equal to omega initial plus with the angular acceleration times with the time. So we rearrange our equation. We know that the alpha is equal to omega final minus omega initial divided with the time. And omega final is 32. Omega initial is 0. 
then we divide by 0 0.8. Then we will get our angular acceleration that is equal to 80 radian per second square. Okay, semua jawab betul yang ni. Okay, next kita tengok untuk yang B. Okay, the B dia kata how many revolutions. So the revolution correspond to which quantities? Displacement. Yep, correct. So angular displacement. So how to find angular displacement? We can use the third one where theta is equal to omega initial times with the time plus half angular acceleration time with the time to the power of two. So we know the initial velocity is zero just now. So zero times with the time is um, the time given is 0 0.4, okay, plus half angular acceleration that we just calculated in part A is 80, 80 radian, and the time is 0 0.4 to the power of 2. Then the theta is, boleh tolong kira, what is the dispa angular displacement? 6.4. 6.4. You can revolution. 6.4, you need is? Red. 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 Good. Okay, radian. So how to convert radian to revolution? Question asked for revolution. Divide 2 pi. Yeah, so 6.4 divide by 2 pi. Then kita dapat? 1.01. Or it is equal to 1 revolution. Okay. So revolution, the question must correspond to the angular displacement. And if the question give you revolution per minute, rotation per minute, that one was that one is corresponding to the velocity, angular velocity. Okay, so you just have to get used to the term in the apa, rotational motion punya ni. Okay, ada soalan? Any uh, question? Do we yes, need to I... run off the answer? Okay, uh, for assignment, it is not round off. You have to choose it the, to the minimum one. So if 1.01, .01, memang the, the minimum one is one revolution. If 2.99, what is the revolution? Uh, two. 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 Yeah. Right. two. Yeah, so it hasn't reached the third cycle. So it is still two revolutions. Okay, so in assignment, you can write it up to 1.01, .01, no problem, revolution. But maybe in MCQ, you should, you must be careful lah at this. Okay, so kena pilih jawapan yang betul. Alright, next. Mana pula aku zero, okay, this. Okay, question two. This one MCQ. Okay, a cyclist is travelling at a speed of 25 meter per second. Okay, and then the bike he is on has wheels of radius 75, 7.50 millimeter. So find the time for one rotation. Okay, question ask for the time. Okay, baca betul-betul. Question tanya time. Okay, bukan tanya angular velocity. So you need to find the time.
Kita tengok siapa yang betul Dan yang salah is okay Kita boleh belajar from the mistake Okay, here are the results Okay, let me stop sharing Saya saja je nak share music Oh, dengar ke music tadi? Dengar yeah. Dengar yeah. yeah. <laughs> So this is the answer. Okay, uh, ramai yang jawab B. Eh, no, no. A and B sama. C tujuh orang, D dua orang. So what are the what is the answer? Okay, let me show you the solution. Okay, I open my blackboard. <laughs> okay. So sebab apa kan ramai yang stop dekat C? Kita okay, nak kita punya soalan dia dia kata uh, saya cari soalan ni jap. Okay, a cyclist is travelling at a speed velocity is equal to 25 meter per second and then the bike he is on has wheel of radius of 750 millimeter okay this one is equal to 0.75 meter you just directly took up to SI unit and find the time time for one rotation one rotation is equal to what how many radian two pi two pi Two pi. So dia nak 2 pi radian. Theta is, this one is equal to theta is equal to 2 pi lah maksudnya. Okay so kita, we, we, we have to find the, apa nama, the, the angular velocity first. So we have the relationship between the uh, V and also omega where V is equal to R omega and then omega is equal to V divided by R. So V is equal to 25 and the radius is 0.75. So what is the omega? Thirty three point three three. Thirty three point three three radian per second. Okay, so this is angular velocity. This is not the time. So how to find the time? By using the the equation, by using the first equation of displacement lah. Displacement are the relation the dia dengan uh, angular uh, displacement, which is s is equal to r times with the angular displacement. So we know that angular displacement is 2 pi because it gives in the equation that one rotation, right? So we know one rotation is the angular displacement. Then... by 2 pi and inverse. Yep, okay. So we... Again, what? Did you cut? No, no, no. Okay, we, uh, we know that this is the equation. And then also we know that Omega is equal to theta divided by the time. Okay, this one I ni tak perlu pun. Just this one I just want to relate it with the uh, linear displacement. Okay, so omega is equal to uh, the displacement, angular displacement divided by the time. Jadi angular displacement is 2 pi given in the equation, one rotation. And then the time is yang kita nak carilah. And omega is equal to Omega is equal to the one that we just calculated. It is 33.33 and the time is 2 pi divided by 33.33. So the answer is 0 0.19. 0 0.19 second. Okay, faham eh? Um. Alright, good. So kita pergi the last question before we end our lecture. Give it eh. Alright, a car is travelling with a velocity of 70 km per hour on a straight horizontal road. Then the car speeds up with an acceleration of 2 m per second square for 6 seconds. So if the radius of each of the wheel is 30 cm, determine the number of revolution on of the wheel. Okay, I'll open the response. So you may start calculating. And I will share my music. All right. Number of revolution of the wheel means they want the angular displacement, but the unit must be in revolutions.
Okay, five seconds more, no one answer. Seorang je jawab. Okay, siapa seorang tu yang bertuah? Sekejap, I will stop sharing. Okay, so yang menjawab seorang sahaja. Siapakah ini? Hazim FJ3. Okay. Sekejap. Okay, the leaderboard eh untuk hari ni. Seorang sahaja Hazim yang betul. Okay, never mind. Kenapa, uh, apa kita tengok dia punya jawapan. We will see the solutions. Okay. Let me open my blackboard. Okay, and then the question is. A car is travelling with a velocity. So velocity, this one is linear. Because we know the unit is in kilometer per hour. Okay, and then on a straight horizontal road. Then the car speeds up in an acceleration. So this is also linear acceleration. 2 meter per second, power of 2, and also time is 6.0 second. Okay, and the radius of the wheel given is 30 cm. Then we convert it into meter. It is uh, 0.3 meter. Determine the number of revolution. So they nak theta lah, right? So revolution they nak theta. So what is theta in revolution? Okay, so uh, <clears throat> uh, we we know that this is in linear, this is in linear, also this is in linear. But we need to find theta, di mana we have to find the what we call it the the uh, angular angular displacement from the linear punya quantities. Okay, so kita kena cari s first lah. So daripada s ni, then only we convert it into theta. So uh, in order to cari S, we use the kinematics equation. The, uh, we use the third one, di mana S is equal to V initial times with the time plus the, with the half A T to the power of 2. Okay, so the initial velocity is six, 70 km per hour. Jadi 70 km per hour, we convert it into meter per second. So we times with the 1000 and we divide by 3600. Okay, berapa dia punya velocity in meter per second? 19.44 okay. 19.44 meter per second. Okay, and then we just sub in into the equation. So the displacement is equal to 19.44. Okay, with time with the times, times adalah 6 saat. Plus with the half, acceleration given is 2 and time is equal to 6 second. Then we can cut. Okay, berapa jawapan untuk displacement? This is linear displacement. Anyone? One five two point six four. One five two point six four meter. Okay, but this one is in meter. This one is the what we call it. Uh, the linear quantities. Okay, and untuk cari theta, we need to uh, relate it to the equation that relates linear and the angular quantities where S is equal to R theta, then the theta is equal to S over with the radius. And the S that we get from our previous calculation is 1.52.6. Eh? 1.52.6 152.64 okay 152.64 meter and we divide by our radius which is 0 0.3 meter and kita akan dapat 508 radian but this is in radian unit the question asks for uh, the angular displacement in revolution so how to convert 5008 radian to revolution Ah, divide, divide two pi. pi. Yes, divide by two pi. Then we get eighty point nine seven. Eighty point nine seven revolution. So this one is equal to how many revolution? Eighty. 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 So it is not eighty one, eh? But it it hasn't reached the eighty one yet. So the other one is eighty revolution. Okay. So I think. 
that's all for today. Any question from the floor? Before uh, I end my... Yeah. Yeah. A, A, C tu. Okay. AC. A, A, C dengan A, T yang hmm. kat raja tu. Uh -huh. Acceleration, acceleration, acceleration C tu. Mm -hmm. Dia akan sepiasa point dekat origin ke tak? Ya. Yep. Uh, centripetal acceleration it always pointed to the center of the bulatan. Nanti kita akan belajar centripetal acceleration in the third lecture. Okay, it always pointed to the center. Centripetal itself means center seeking. Uh, so always pointed to the center. Nanti we will uh, study about the uh, centripetal acceleration and also centripetal force. Okay. Okay, one, one Haris. Okay, so you lagi. Ah, yeah, nanti. Okay. Ah, uh, pasal semalam. Mm -hmm. Kan, doktor cakap angular velocity tak sama dengan period kan? Tak sama dengan period, correct. Tapi kalau kita guna formula uh, velocity equals to r omega. Mm -hmm. Kalau kita contohnya kalau v itu meter per second. Mm -hmm. R pula meter, bukan ke dapat S uh, negatif satu? Uh, sebab omega is radian per second, right? Hmm. Jadi, we know that uh, S is equal to R theta. And theta, R is equal to uh, meter. Okay, and then theta is radian per second. This one is correspond to the meter per second lah. Sebab kita tahu the hubung kait antara theta dengan uh, when we change the theta into radian. Okay. Okay, okay. okay uh, So, omega tu sebenarnya uh, daripada the how to calculate omega uh, other than using the changes in displacement divided by time, omega also can be calculated by 2 pi darabkan dengan frequency. So, the frequency is equal to 1 over the period. Uh, so, frekuensi unit dia adalah per second. Okay, so omega is equal to, this one is radian and then this one is per second. Oh, okay, Rabin. Okay, okay. 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 Alright, so dia tak sama, velocity tak sama dengan frekuensi. Dia mesti darabkan dengan radian kat depan. Okay, any other else? Satu, dua, Tiga. Okay, good. So, kita akan jumpa insyaAllah next week untuk our third lecture. I will upload the lecture note uh, a day before, maybe on Sunday evening ataupun malam tu sikit. So, you boleh download and you read first before you come into my lecture. Then at least you will get an, an overview lah for our third lecture. Third lecture ni a bit panjang sikit. So, I hope you boleh uh, tangkap dengan cepat lah. Okay, so if any uh, question, kalau tiba-tiba termuncul ke kan, so you just uh, hubungi saya dekat Teams, uh, just private message me. Kalau you ada phone number pun boleh, you contact me through WhatsApp, then I will answer, even lambat pun. And uh, saya rasa that's all for today. And thank you semua. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend ahead. Salam ni Thank you, Doctor. 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 Siapa yang tak scan lagi ada kat atas kepala saya ni, just scan QR code. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome.